Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of Trove. As you can see, I have already maxed my Vanguard. I actually did this about two days ago. Or, yeah, well, second day of Vanguard release, whenever day is, who cares, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to go into the water world. That's not water, this is water. And we are going to grind some dust because I need a lot of dust. Air dust, I'm fine on, but water and fire dust, I'm not. As you can see, if I can ever pull up the right menus to save my life. Yeah, like almost 200k uh, dust, only like 728k. Uh, yeah, I wish I had 728k. Uh, 728, not even 1k, and almost 30k fire dust. So, obviously, I'm severely lacking in the water dust compartment. So the Vanguard is fun, like I've been having a blast with him. He's really fast, especially when you get uh, your stuff to proc. I think the max I can get is like 300, no, not 300, uh, 217 movement speed maybe. I think that's the most I can get, I don't remember. Because that's with like Raptor Berserker, the Pyro Disc, one ability, Trailblazing, like that's pretty much with like everything activated so that's not gonna happen that often where literally everything is activated and I can you know take advantage of that speed boost I don't want to be in this biome because it's uh you know kill 30 enemies most of them most of these dungeons well I don't know if I would say <clears throat> most but a lot of them are like, kill 30 enemies which I don't really care for don't really care for the fey dungeon or fey biome either but uh, since it's here, I guess we'll do it. I did see a couple good-looking dungeons. Well, a couple good-looking generations, I mean, in the medieval a uh, medieval highlands biome. I was going to say medieval bi uh, bylands or something. The biolands. Oh, <laughs> the lag. But uh, yeah, the lag has been what is most likely preventing me from doing anything like that. Like, it's been so laggy these past few uh, few days, and it's really, uh, really bad. It, it almost makes me, like, not even want to, you know, get on the game. But we, uh, we persevere, because that is the way of the Joe. Do I have, uh, yeah, I do okay. Oh, yeah, it's Sunday, right? So we get uh, extra magic find. I was going to say, why do I have 4.7k? Totally forgot about that. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I was going to change my vial. Let's go to the Conjurer's vial. Uh, now that we got this extra 200 uh, magic find because I'm actually a patron user, we should probably do dungeons or uh, Shadow Tower because they probably would drop a lot of stellar. Now, I don't remember what my magic find was before, but I still don't know how it works. Like, do we... Uh, because if we go over to the bonus, today's bonus is a uh, 100 magic find non-patron, 200 magic find uh, with patron. Uh, is the 100 like is it 200 magic find because the 100 is doubled, or is it 400 because the 200 is doubled? I would assume it's 200 because the 100 is doubled, but I don't know. I don't think. Well, actually, that would have made sense. I think I was. Uh, uh, 4.5k, I think, or 4.4, one of those. So, I think it actually is 200 then. I don't know, that was one thing I never really, <coughs> never really, like, understood. But, I should have known that the 100 was the one being doubled and not the, you know, not 200. Because 400, you know, free magic find for that day would have been OP. It already is kind of OP when clubs have it, because level 10 clubs can have a, a fixture that gives you 200 magic find, and if you have a patron, that actually doubles to 400. Which, unfortunately, we don't, like, Team Pixel doesn't have that fixture, so... Bad for us, right? Because no one wants to do Avengers, and I don't blame them. I don't blame anyone for not wanting to do Avengers. They they suck. They really do. But sorry about like I know this is kind of like late in the video to say this, but like sorry about the late uploads. I know I'm like uploading. It seems like every two to three days. I don't know what's with that. But 
I think the majority of that was me grinding the Vanguard. I think I just passed uh, S5 there, I don't know. But I should have streamed me grinding the Vanguard. I don't know why I didn't, I was kind of like lazy. Which doesn't make sense, because if you're lazy to stream, then why, like, why wasn't I lazy to grind the class? But, like, top 10 questions scientists will still never be able to answer, right? But, uh, in terms of streaming, I, I might stream Pixar later. Having fun with that game. I think yesterday I spent the entire day playing that game. Like, I must have spent, like, 10 hours, like, straight playing Pixar. It was, it was hilarious. With everyone on the server and, uh, constantly dying, because that's basically what Pixar is, Death Simulator. And it... It's stupid, like, <laughs> this, the, oh, <laughs> the, the sleepy arrows, yeah, or whatever they're called, I think they're called sleepy arrows, they're like the equivalent of narcotic arrows or whatever, they, they suck, like, they straight up suck, they don't do anything, it took me literally 500 sleepy arrows to bring down a level 50 T-Rex, and, I can tell you for a fact that in normal arc, it would not take you more than freaking 30 to bring down a T-Rex. At least it never did for me. To be honest, that's probably because it was like, uh, the stats were boosted. But even then, because I don't think we can even boost the stats on the server. You can boost them in single player, but uh, I think the, like, the server provider that uh, Scythe is on, I think the, I, like, I don't think they allow them to change the settings, which is unfortunate. There also aren't any mods, which is the big thing. Like, there's no, uh, there's no grave mod, so if your dinos die, they're just dead. Which is really annoying. Like, I don't like that, because a lot of the deaths literally aren't your fault. And I'm not saying that to be like, oh, like, trying to make it so I don't sound, the, uh, suck, like, sound like I suck at the game. But it's true. Like, it's stupid. Like, I don't like it. A lot of the time, like... The way it works is, even when the enemies die, you know how, like, people who actually play Pixar, like, when the enemies actually die, they leave, like, a block of meat behind sometimes, and their body parts will actually, like, kind of fly in a radius around them. Those body parts are actually physical items, like, the, the not items, but they're actually physical. Like, you can run into them, you can... You can get stuck on them and everything, and stuff that you should be able to kill, it'll kill you if there's, like, more than one of them, because I was trying to, like, I had a Carno, and I was trying to kill, uh, two Shadow Leopards, which I could have easily killed, but they got me stuck on, like, they got stuck to my back, which made it so my Carno couldn't move, and... It, you know, you know, the car couldn't move, so it couldn't do anything because they were attacking the back, and I, I couldn't move, so literally I couldn't do anything. I couldn't get off because for some reason, even though I was wearing iron armor, those things would, like, two-shot me. Like, what's the point of iron armor if things are going to two-shot you? Like, it doesn't make any sense. But the best thing that I probably found in Pixar was, like, an ascended wand. Pretty sure I found an ascended wand, but I ended up dying with it. Which, when you die and get your death pile, you don't always get all of your items. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, I retrieved my death pile so many times, but more, uh, more times than not, my pickaxe won't actually be there. Like, my pickaxe or my weapon or, like, other stuff. And I don't know why it does that. I do know that there's, like, no durability on anything. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's just a thing, because that doesn't... Like, that doesn't seem like it would be right, you know what I mean? Like, just to craft something, and if as long as you don't die, never worry about having to get a new one. Maybe that's just me, I really don't know. But this leg, like, this server leg is kind of making this unplayable, which is kind of why I've been staying back a little bit on Trove. Which, it's really unfortunate, like... I don't know what the devs are doing. Like, I don't know if they realize, like, when they pull out a big update like this, I don't know if they don't realize that the server is going to be affected, like, really bad, or if 
Like, they just don't care. <laughs> I honestly don't know. But, I think in this update they introduced, like, a shader or something like that. Like, shaders, you know, like, shadows and all that. Which I don't think was actually in here before the update. And, that single-handedly has been draining my FPS so bad. Like, I don't know why. Like, how there's, like, I think these shadows were always here, right? Like, how there's, like, shadows and all that. I do know something is new, like something with the shaders is new. I don't care about that dungeon, who cares, let them have it. <laughs> but, really weird, it's like, it doesn't make sense. But let, let, let's just kill these guys, I like how we can see the bosses before the actual generation of the thing. <laughs> That's always fun, right? So maybe we'll just do this one and call it here, or call it there, I guess. I wish the map would actually, you know, load in. It doesn't seem to want to do that half the time. Which is kind of stupid. Where are the bosses? Okay, they're right there. Okay, finally found the boss. A boss, I mean, not the boss. Because, like, you see how bad this leg is? Like, even in melee form. Like, range form makes sense. Like, why it would lag. What? Why are the punches lagging? Like, I'm punching stuff and it's not registering. That's how you know it's bad. Like, when melee hits don't register, that's when the game is just absolutely dying. Like, it's just, uh, it's just dying on the side of the road and no one cares. That That's this game right now. Oh, <laughs> I'm not using my speed boosts or anything. Not thinking to. I don't see the bosses, like I have the waypoint mod, but I can't, okay. Well, the, the waypoints don't seem to actually appear until you're like right in their face, which is kind of unfortunate. But I'm gonna stop the video right there guys, so sorry that this is uh, this was like a weird video. Uh, my mouth's getting kind of dry, which is the other reason why I'm gonna stop the video. And hopefully, I don't start uploading like every like once every week or something like that because I'd be kind of lame. So anyway, see you later and see you in the next video.